And before she could say I mean, anything so, again, else, I didn't see the clip. So maybe you're right. Everyone jumped on her. Maybe you're everyone right. Everyone jumped on her. Again, I, I I agree with you that like randomly calling people for nothing racist is not helpful. But I also don't think it's my job to sanitize people that I think are racist. Anna Kasparian right. and her co-host Johnny Adarola on The Young Turks had a heated argument about Republican Congresswoman Nancy Mace mispronouncing Vice President Kamala Harris's name. Anna was upset and pushed back hard against John, who seemed to defend Mace. Some on the left might see this as more proof that Anna is shifting towards more conservative views, something that's been pointed out before. We'll look at clips from The Young Turks and CNN, and I'll share my thoughts along the way. This one's pretty interesting, so let's, let's get into get it. Into it. And Daisy Dragon says, no, Anna, I disagree. She does mean to mispronounce her name, and she does mean it to be disrespectful. Well, we should throw Wait, her in prison Whose name for was it. mispronounced? Nancy Mace mispronouncing uh, Kamala Harris's name and making the grave She's error of saying Kamala instead. Yeah, I mean, I don't think it's a grave error. I think it's a petty, immature thing to continue to do. Okay. I think it should be beneath any adult. I don't think she intentionally mispronounced her name, but whatever. It's everyone well, she, can think she what already, they want to think. She already went through a news cycle of this like a month and a half ago, two months ago. I know, ago. but she's it's hard to remember because the pe different people say she's differently. The vice president. No, no, I no, literally, this person I only says it this way. I literally had to remember that it's Kamala because someone told me think of comma and then just say la. That's what, Kamala. The, that's what the kids did. The DNC. Look, you're not trying to do anything on purpose. No, I get I'm it, but like she is because she's a bad person. <laughs> For some context, okay. I'm going to include the clip from CNN. If you're not familiar with this story, it'll show you exactly what happened with Nancy Mace during a panel discussion with other commentators on CNN. With the same reruns. Uh, Donald Trump is in a very vulnerable well, talk position. Talk about rerun. Kamala's Kamala's. Uh, oh, Kamala. you had it right. You, you say, almost got it. I will it. say Kamala's name it. any way that I want to. No, but, Kamala's, but you mispronounced her. You did. also misjudged. You just did it. I'm mispronouncing her name. That's why we're going to to acknowledge her name. If I purposely, if I purposely mispronounced your name, that would not be appropriate. Policies are Joe Biden's policies. Policies. She owns You're it. You're normalizing that times. kind of viciousness, man. Thir okay. Thirty-three times. She was the vice president on Joe Biden's bill. She was thirty-three times the deciding vote on Joe Biden's bills in the Senate. Yeah, let me just say this, because this congresswoman is a wonderful human being. But 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 when you disrespect Kamala Harris by saying you will call her whatever you want, I know you don't intend it to be that way. That's the history and legacy of white disregard for the humanity of black people. Oh, so now you're calling me racist. I didn't say that, I just that said that you weren't BS. a racist. That is complete. No, you BS. don't have to intend racism no, to No, no, no. You are it. intending that I'm Your disrespect racist, of Kamala Harris and that is, is part and parcel of a tradition of disrespect. It's why can't you just Congresswoman? Why can't you just I'm not calling you a racist, I'm saying you what the practice is racist. You are, you are, you are. No, what's disgusting is your disgusting. disrespect of her. Professor, this gentleman said, you know what, I didn't you know, know her name. What's disgusting to tried women to is it. her disrespect of women. She doesn't know what a woman is. And if, if 25 years ago, white I women became, don't have the ability to tell black women who, who paid the price of blood to make this country what it is to tell them they're not real women. 25 they years care ago, for your baby and 25 years ago, I became the first woman to graduate from the Citadel, the Military College of South Carolina. I so fought my name way through it. So pronounce her name right. Let me actually get her name right. In this clip, Nancy Mace says, I can say her name however I want. This suggests it wasn't just an innocent mistake, which is what Anna Kasparian seems to argue, that people have been pronouncing Kamala Harris's name differently for some time, so maybe Mace simply didn't know or forgot. An honest mistake can happen. However, when someone is told how to pronounce the name correctly and still insists on saying it wrong, as Mace did, it feels intentional. If this were an isolated incident, it might not be as notable. But many right-wing commentators and politicians have repeatedly mispronounced Kamala Harris's name. It appears to be part of a larger pattern or strategy. It's similar to how some say Democrat Party instead of Democratic Party. As John Iaterola points out, this behavior comes off as childish something you might expect in middle or junior high school. Yet, it's a tactic often seen among certain right-wing figures and MAGA supporters. Uh, just, it's, not like, it's not like there's 30 Kamala slash Kamalas in like music and movies and Nancy Mace is like, okay, well, in this one, it's that one, and this one, it's this and maybe Miss Marvel. And I don't think she pays attention to Miss Marvel. I think she's just doing it on purpose. Again, it doesn't matter compared to all the other things Nancy yeah, Mace does. Look, it's the least important thing, but focus on it's those petty. things. Nancy no, no. Mace, like she has power don't in the United on, States Congress. Don't focus on anything. Talk about everything. That's what we do. 
Look, I just feel like there's way too many hucksters in cable television who make a nice living by going around calling all sorts of people racist, which tears the country apart and is not helpful. Okay, Michael Eric Dyson happens to be one of those people. He gets under my skin because- Was look, he in that clip? I, I'm not familiar with yeah, this. Yeah, it's just what he does. Like, it's just so annoying because there, there are issues in the country, mm -hmm. okay, that do impact people of color. But going around and immediately accusing someone simply because they're light skinned and mispronounce someone's name, immediately accusing them of perpetuating white supremacy in the country is insane to me and does not do anything to bring us together at all. I think with her specifically, there's a lot of additional. Context, okay, she's a white supremacist. Uh, she's yeah, perpetuating saying, white supremacism. Like I'm just saying, she okay. she has herself had this exact same thing multiple times. Okay, it seems willful at that point. Is what I would say. All right, it's willful, John. It's willful. Yeah. It's let's throw her in prison, everybody. It is. It's not, I'm not. I don't want to throw her in prison. I'm just maybe sick for a weekend. Of this conversation. A three day to weekend in prison. Okay, three day um, weekend. I'm just good. saying when when people are do she's doing it intentionally to send a signal to some people, she either to anger us saying, or because she knows racists like she it. She started her statement on that CNN panel by saying Kamala, and then thought she said it wrong, so then she said Kamala. And then I have to disagree with Anna Kasparian on this one. From my perspective, in that clip, Nancy Mace knew how to pronounce Kamala Harris's name correctly. And when she slipped up and said it correctly, she quickly changed it. It seems like she knew saying Kamala correctly wouldn't resonate with her base, so she adjusted it. That's how I see it. I don't understand how Anna Kasparian can call this an honest mistake, especially when Mace followed up by saying, I can say it however I want. If someone is acting in good faith and genuinely trying to pronounce a name correctly, they wouldn't respond that way. I'm not sure why Anna is defending Mace here. Plus, Anna has made snide remarks about Mace saying things like, put her in jail and calling her a white supremacist. Meanwhile, John Iadarola has remained calm and is making valid points. I think he's handling this discussion much more reasonably. I know a lot of people in the comments have been critical of Anna lately, and this situation adds fuel to those who believe she's moving to the right. While I agree with both Anna and John that this isn't the most important issue in the world, TYT often covers topics that aren't necessarily the most pressing. Yes, Anna wants to focus on bigger global issues, like what's happening in the Middle East, but there's still room to talk about other things. If this was just a one-off incident from Nancy Mace, we could probably ignore it, but it seems to be part of a broader strategy within the Republican Party to mispronounce Kamala Harris's name. It's not just Mace, it's happening repeatedly. And before she could say okay, so, anything else- yeah, I didn't see the clip, so maybe you're right. Everyone jumped on her, maybe everyone right. jumped on her. Again, I, I, I agree with you that like randomly calling people for nothing racist is not helpful, but I also don't think it's my job to sanitize people that I think are racist. All right. I think there's a position between those two things. What else has she done that you think makes her racist? Makes her racist? I don't know, I know. I don't think she's done that I think make her awful. Racist, Yeah, I don't know. for sure, for sure, but like, no, everyone is definitely sure that she did it on purpose because she's racist. Okay, so what Not else has she done to like help bolster that? Wait, we're about to. Okay. I don't necessarily agree with Anna Kasparian's take that everyone is saying Nancy Mace did this because she's racist. I would agree more with Johnny Adarola, who suggests that Mace did it because she's simply being petty, just like many other MAGA politicians and pundits. It's not necessarily about race, but more about being dismissive and playing games. I'd love to be in the world that Anna Kasparian envisions, where we focus on policy discussions and avoid all this trivial stuff. But the reality is, this kind of behavior, like purposely mispronouncing the vice president's name, is what we see from MAGA and some Republicans over and over again. They do it because they think it gets under the skin of Democrats and the left, whether it's for humor or something more divisive. Regardless of the reason, whether it's racism or just pettiness, this pattern is happening repeatedly from figures like Nancy Mace. I'd like to think that Anna Kasparian sees through this. What do you think? Why do you believe Anna is defending Nancy Mace here? Is this part of her continuing shift to the right? Or do you agree with her take? Or maybe you're on Johnny Adarola's side, as I am. I think John is completely right in this case. Make sure to leave a comment and let me know what you think. Also, if you enjoyed this content, give it a like, and don't forget to subscribe. Your support is helping the channel grow rapidly. I've gained a lot of subscribers in just the last couple of weeks, and it's all thanks to you. If you haven't subscribed yet, be sure to do so, so I can keep bringing more content like this.
This is Culture Spotlight, and I'll see you in the next video.